By these measures, some within your party hope to silence the opposition. I assure you they will give it body and solidarity. Well, I am a party of one, Thomas. As you well know. Why blacken your fragile reputation by an assault on the freedoms for which we both fought? Do you intend to ship out the entire French population of the United States? along with any other luckless soul who happens to voice a contrary opinion? Well, if that contrary opinion threatens to divide the nation at a time when we must stand united, then yes, I will do just that. I'm entrusted with the nation's safety, Thomas. And these war measures will protect us from insurrection and subversion. There is no war. And that is the principle behind these measures, the prevention of war. You cannot protect the nation by attacking the right of every man to speak freely without fear. You're trampling on the Constitution. <laughs> the states will have no alternative but to resist these measures, which are an assault on the liberty of their people. People's representatives demanded these acts. Would you have me deaf to the voice of the people? You are the president of the Senate, Thomas. Surely you will respect the wishes of the majority, as I do. I cannot preside over a reign of witches. I shall remove myself to Monticello. That is your privilege. I... I do not have such a luxury. I am determined to control events, not be controlled by them. 